Cricket was once one of this country's most popular sports until baseball became entrenched as America's game during the Civil War. Now the sport that was first played in England is seeing a resurgence here, thanks in part to thriving South Asian immigrant communities who revere the game. Amna Devaz takes us inside the world of wickets, stumps, batters and bowlers. It's game day in Germantown, Maryland. Players warming up, parents settling in on the sidelines, and the unmistakable sound of summer in America, the crack of bat against ball. But it's not baseball that brought these crowds out today, it's cricket. One, two, three, Mavericks! On this Sunday, two local youth cricket academies are squaring off. Those are the Mavericks in red and the Jaguars in blue. One of the first batters up for the Jaguars is 12-year-old Akash Venkatesh, whose journey to cricket was a long one. What was your first sport? Soccer. And then after that? Tennis. And then after that? Batman. Was there any sport you didn't try? Football, because too much contact. And I hear that. With other sports, I like played it, I had fun, but then it got boring after a couple of weeks. Mm. With cricket, I just like felt that spark. A spark fanned into an all-consuming passion by his parents, including mom Sunita, who dutifully drives Akash and big brother Aditya to dozens of matches every year across Maryland and Virginia. We just love it. I see the games going on, I see parents cheering, supporting their kids. It, the love keeps going on. Cricket keeps this family close. It also fills every corner of their home, from trophies lining the shelves. One of these ones I hit 100, yeah. and this one here, no, not this one, this one, this one here was. There's so the, many, you get them confused. <laughs> to a makeshift practice pitch in the basement. Much of that enthusiasm comes from dad, Venki, who grew up loving the game in India. I started playing cricket, you know, right when I was probably eight or nine years old, and I had a dream built around you know, cricket. One day, I uh, want, wanted to be a cricket player. When the couple moved to America, more American sports took center stage. We introduced them to all the American sports initially. Mm -hmm. um, they tried tennis, soccer, basketball, swimming, but after a couple of weeks, the energy died down. Mm -hmm and cricket was the last sport that was introduced to them. And this time, it stuck. We all played at some point or watched it. Sometimes we like put it on the TV and then watch it all together. It's just a fun thing to do together. The family trains together, honing the boys' skills in a game that's now catching on across the country. And it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> We'll end on that. Cricket was invented in 17th century England and spread across the globe with the British Empire, arriving in Australia, the West Indies, and India by the 18th century. The game is played on a 360-degree field, with batters on one team trying to score runs by hitting the ball past fielders and a pitcher, known as a bowler, on the opposing team, all while protecting their wickets from the ball. It remains most popular in former British colonies like India, Pakistan, South Africa, and Australia. So why is this old British game taking off in the United States? A confluence of things is happening. Ashwarya Kumar of ESPN says immigration to the U.S. from cricket-obsessed nations is one reason. The South Asian American population is exponentially increasing. It was 3.4 million back in 2010, and it's 5.4 million now. Another is live streaming cricket, keeping fans connected to the highest level of play, like the Indian Premier League, no matter where they live. There's a global movement around, okay, we can stay in India and Australia and still watch cricket that's happening in the U.S. Another reason, money. As the audience has grown here, so has the financial investment. A lot of resources being poured into building stadiums and actually like making sure that there is infrastructure in place and resources in place to develop something from scratch and get people excited here. That something, Major League Cricket, or MLC, launched this summer, an American competition hoping to win viewers around the world. We think for the casual American sports fan who's never seen a game should come and take a look at one, and I think they'll be hooked. Vijay Srinivasan is co-founder of the league. 
it's not the traditional uh, image of cricket that many people in America have, which lasts several days and, you know, there's people dressed in white clothes and sit down for a cup of tea and break for lunch and so on. The league, featuring six teams from across the country, was a passion project for Srinivasan. He founded a live streaming cricket channel in the early 2000s, which showed him there was a viewer base in the U.S. hungry for elite competition. This season sold out most games, and Srinivasan says there are plans to build more stadiums and infrastructure. That's going to change the landscape for cricket hugely in this country, and hopefully with the Cricket World Cup coming to the U.S. next year, it's going to be a very different picture uh, a few years from now. A picture that may feature future pros like Akash and Aditya, who's now trying out for the under-19 Team USA. So I'm going to ask you both a question, and I want you to both answer at the same time on the count of three. Ready? Who's the better player? One, two, three, go. <laughs> at the moment, maybe. <laughs> I'm excited, you know, because, I mean, now, like, the cricket here is getting a lot better. So at the end of the day, if we become, like a, like, a great nation in cricket, we might be rivaling up against India, Pakistan, those kinds of teams that it's going to be fun. What's it like for you as a parent to watch your children succeed in this sport that clearly means so much to you? It's kind of a dream come true. Nothing else apart from that. And I can say I'm living my dream through them. A dream carried across an ocean and a generation that found new life here in the U.S. For PBS News Weekend, I'm Amna Nawaz in Maryland.